And hello again, this is John Lundquist from Paladin Academy, and today we're going to solve uh, two-step equations. This is lesson 2-2 algebra 2. Okay, so last time and we solved one-step equations, and this time we're going to uh, solve two steps. So we're going to do two things to solve this. So remember last time I said the um, equation is like a teeter-totter. And you have to maintain the balance. In order to maintain a balance, you either have to add uh, the same thing to both sides, subtract the same thing to both sides of the equation, multiply the same thing, or divide the same thing. So you can, um, that's what you have to do to maintain the balance. So, now this, now last time I think I said, um, we go after the adding and subtracting first. Well, in this case, in this case, this is not, this is an exception to the rule. Because we consider this right here, we consider this top part um, like by itself. Like it's, it's, um, it has a parentheses around it. And I can't get at it until I get rid of this 10. I can't get at this is like a castle with a moat around or something. I don't know. And so I got to get rid of the 10. And this is a divide by. And a divide by, you have to multiply. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 10. So I'm going to um, multiply this by 10. And I'm going to multiply this side by 10. And so then I get negative 20. This cancels. Because this is over one. It's like I mean, that's why I did it. I, I wanted I want ten over ten, which is one. And one times this quantity here on the top is just that quantity. So I get x plus five. And then I subtract five from both sides. And that cancels out the five. It gets zero. So I either get one. This is on, on a multiply and divide. I get a one. And add subtract to get a zero. So th there's actually two answers I want. I either want a one or a zero. And the add and subtracting gives me a, a zero. And so I get minus 25 is my answer here. Minus 25. Okay, so that's that. So let's just do, these are the problem. I got I made some problems up. And these are should be pretty much uh, what you're going to see on the worksheet. So, first of all, I'll take this guy. Um, here, I, I do go after, this 4 is all by itself. This negative, this subtract 4. Subtract 4 is all by itself, so I can go ahead and add 4 to both sides. So I add 4 to both sides, and I get minus 2 equals x divided by 3. Whereas this, this, I get a 0 here. Minus 4 plus 4 is 0. And this is a divide by. So I multiply by 3. Multiply both sides by 3, and I get x equals a, plus, a, a positive 3 times a negative 2 is a negative 6. Remember, a positive times a negative is a negative. A positive times a positive is a positive. A positive times, or not a positive, I mean a negative times a negative is a positive. So when you have opposites multiplied, you get a negative. When you have the same things multiplied, you get a positive. Very important. Not to be confused with adding negatives. If you add a negative 5 plus a negative 2, what's that a negative 2? Negative 5 plus a negative 2. You're going to get a negative 7. Because this, this is like saying I got, I got 5 negatives and I'm going to add 2 more negatives to it. How many negatives do I got? I got, I got 7 negatives, right? So it's a magnitude issue. It's a, a how many of these I got. That's what adding is like a magnitude thing. Whereas 
uh, multiplication is a, more of a sign thing. It's more of a uh, what is the sign of the answer, whereas adding and subtracting is more of what's the magnitude of the answer. If that makes any sense. Okay, so got to keep going here. Okay, so um, I'm going to subtract 5 from both sides. Um, I get minus 12 equals this uh, n. Whoops. <laughs> See, the kids do this a lot too. They forget the n. I do it too. So minus 12n. This is 0 right here. This is only 1. I want to get rid of this number. I want to get rid of this number. And I want to get rid of this number. I don't want to get, I don't want to get rid of this number. He's already a number. I want x equaling some number over here. He's okay. I want to get rid of the two numbers that are by the end. So then I get I get 24. And then I divide. This is a multiply. There's there's this when there's nothing between a number and a letter, we assume a multiply. So I multiply to the opposite and I divide by 12, negative 12. And I get n. So and, and this is the same rule as multiplying. Opposite signs make an you get a plus and a negative gives you a, a negative. So I get a negative two. Okay. Subtract six from both sides. You get negative nine equals negative this is a now see now here we have a magnitude thing. There's negative six and a negative twenty one. So I get a lot of negatives. I get it's like a number line. I'm going. I got go negative 21 from zero, and then I go six more negatives. So I end up at negative 27. I get a lot of neg. I keep going negative on the number line. So I get negative 27. So then I, and this is negative m 9m. I forgot the m again. I believe that. So I. I Divide by negative 9, both sides. I have to divide by the sign, the whole thing that's in front of the M. The sign and the number. And that's kind of a weird thing. A subtraction becomes a sign. It's, it's, it's a weird thing. A, an operation becomes a, a sign when I take away the thing in front of it. It's kind of a weird thing. But So a negative and a subtraction are kind of like the same thing. Or it become a negative a subtraction becomes a negative if the number in front goes away. So anyway, I divide by negative nine, and notice a negative divided by a negative is a positive. So I get m equals three. Three because three times three negatives and twenty seven three times, and two negatives make a positive. Okay, so now we have the distributive property here. Here's a distributive property. Distributive property is a times b plus c means you distribute here, you get AB plus AC. You distribute. You distribute the A to both terms inside the parentheses. So I distribute here. And I get minus 2N. Uh, and then a minus, uh, a negative 2 times, and this, this subtraction, you can think the subtraction as a negative, like a plus a negative 3. So you get a negative times a negative is a plus 6 equals negative 6. And then subtract negative 6 from both sides. I get minus 2n equals, this cancels, negative 12. We notice that we're really adding, we're adding 6 negatives, and I get another 6 negatives, and I get 12 negatives. I divide by negative 2, and I get n equals 2 negatives, and a, and a division, or multiplication becomes a plus 6. Okay, now don't let this confuse you. Let me, let me erase this guy. Negative. So this answer was negative 6. Let's move this over here. Whoops. Move it over right there. Okay, so this one, 
I'll move this up a little bit maybe. Okay, so this is this is a, a distributive again, but this yours the backwards it comes from the other side. So don't let that confuse you. So just a straight like this, only it's the other way. So I get 15 equals negative times a positive, negative 5m, and then and the subtraction, and 5 times 2 is 10. I'm going to add 10 to both sides. I get 25. This cancels. Minus 5m divided by negative 5. And notice I get a positive divided by a negative. So a positive divided by a negative is going to give me a negative. So I'm going to get m equals this this cancels. And I get a negative 5. So that's for this one. And then you can always check your answer. You put a negative 5 in here for m. Let's say, let's do that. Let's just quickly do that. I'm going to put negative 5. We get 15 equals negative 5 times a negative 5 is, is a positive 5 minus 2 times 5. Well, 15, this is 3. 3 times 5 is 15. 15 equals 15, so it works. So the last one. I'm running out of time. Um, I'm gonna. This is again like I did over here. I'm gonna. This is like by itself. So this is like a parentheses around it. I'm gonna multiply it by negative two. Multiply both sides, and I get negative times negative is positive six equals that cancels. N minus seven is an equal sign. I'm gonna add seven to both sides. And I get 11 equals n. So that's it. Good luck.